Avoid the spread. This was the theme of the first ever Afrocomic 8 game jam and my first game jam participation. What is up guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Kingsley and in this video I'm going to be talking about my first game jam experience. Before we begin, don't forget to destroy that like button. To start off, my friend Austin and I decided to come up with a few ideas to see which one would be a good fit for the theme. We then hopped onto Trello and came up with these. Cancer cells, zombies, and firefight. Because we wanted to do something different, after careful consideration, we got rid of the first three ideas and decided to go with firefight. The idea was to have a farmer help his crops avoid the spread of a wildfire and a virus by using water and pesticide spray. But the kicker was that he would have a limited amount of both water and pesticide and would have to refill each time they ran out. Now that we had our idea, Austin was going to be programming and I was going to be working on the art. We both listed the things we had to create on the Trello board and then we hopped into Unity to begin. In Unity, the first thing we did was to set up Unity Collab, which was a challenge at first, but once we got it working, it was pretty great to have. Once we got out of the way, I hopped into Blender and created a few low poly models of a fence, a hut, a log of wood, and a rock. While I was creating these models, Austin sent me a scene with the basic controls of the player. I opened the scene, created two UI buttons, and added the models that were created. After this was completed, I sent the changes over to Austin through Unity Collab, and then I proceeded to create a few more models in Blender. I modeled a tree, a soil bed, a gas tank, and a wooden water basin. I then set up the models in the Unity scene and played around with the character to have a feel of how everything was working together. After that, I sent the changes to Austin and he sent back the scene with a refill mechanic and placeholders for the tomato plant. At this point, this was in the AM, so we both decided to take a break for a nap and then continue the next day. It was the second day and I decided to go for an early morning walk before taking a shower and then we're back in business. I started the day off by modeling some grass and a tomato plant. We originally wanted to create two plants for the game, but we decided to go with just one so we could increase our chances of completing the game jam. After the tomato plant was created, I added two different variations to the model's texture, a bent texture and a dying texture. I then decided to start work on the player model. I created a low half of the player's body, textured it, and then I worked on the head and textured it as well. Once I was done, I rigged the player and created the player's backpack. I got back into Unity and created the player animation controller, added the idle and walk animations, and then I created a parameter to control the player movement. So if the parameter was zero, then the player was idle, and if the parameter was greater than 0.1, the walk animation was played. Once again, I made some changes to the scene, added the various UI elements, and placed the models where they needed to be. I sent the scene to Austin and voila, he sent back a playable scene with all the elements working. At this point, we still had some time on our hands, so we decided to create a main menu and added two languages to the game, English and Tree. Because of that, I had to design the how to play info screen in both languages. At this point, we had about 40 minutes left on the clock, so I sent the current scene to Austin, he did his magic and hooked everything up. With the time left, I made the background music and created the game build. While the game was uploading to itch.io, we put together a makeshift trailer. On itch, we added all the screenshots, uploaded the trailer to YouTube, and then added the YouTube link to the submission. In the light of some unforeseen internet problems, we almost didn't make the submission, but we ended up making it with 16 minutes left to spare. Overall, we had a blast, this was an amazing experience, and I would definitely love to do this again. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed the music in this video, please check us out on Spotify, Apple Music, and all the other music streaming platforms out there. You can check us out on all our social medias, at Fudali Studios as well. Peace.